You know when they use unwieldy titles is when they're trying to pull some shit off, when they're trying to lie to you, when the bullshit cannon is fully armed, they give you unwieldy titles. Now, the U.S., apparently the Pentagon, our military, can will now, that now signs deals with other countries to steal their resources, basically. Australia is so is such a fawning fanboy of the United States that Australia has just inked a deal to let the Pentagon, our military, go in and secure minerals. Now, there is so much propaganda in this. First of all, the term secure. What, why would the Pentagon be involved in securing minerals in Australia? You, you don't need a military. You don't need guys with guns to steal mineral. Like, no. You, it, if you wanted to make a deal with Australia for minerals, you could make a corporate deal if it wasn't theft, if it wasn't our military involved. So it's not, we're not securing anything. We're making a deal with Australia. They're letting us steal their minerals, basically. But then we've thrown in, we've couched it in all this garbage climate change stuff, which... I, I think climate crisis is the greatest risk facing humanity right now, but it's being used by these shitholes to, uh, to, to steal or to make deals. You know, you do a lot of things for economic force. I mean, people sign up for horrific uh, uh, situations like being in the military, like killing and being killed because of economic force. Well, Australia apparently has, is Apparently, the U.S. has made an offer they can't refuse to Australia about using the Pentagon to steal resources in Australia. Anyway, Pentagon to secure Australian minerals in a green deal. Oh, it's a green deal. A new green energy agreement with the United States is set to allow the Pentagon. Why would the military be involved in green deal mineral? This is insanity is set to allow the Pentagon to fund projects. Oh, there's the answer. The U.S. needed a way to send some of our trillion dollars that's spent on the military to Australia to steal minerals. And how do you do that? I mean, how do you send that kind of money without getting it approved by our Congress, without uh, uh, having it as part of any of Biden's climate deals that aren't actually doing anything? Well, you pretend it's military. You basically just have the U.S. military doing everything because that because we just dump an endless supply of money into the U.S. military. Pentagon to fund projects in Australia to extract minerals deemed vital to the U.S. military. Oh, that's green, is it? That's a green deal? The, the U.S. is sending some of our military money, our machine for mass murder, is sending some of its money to Australia to get minerals that we need for our machine of mass murder. The deal signed by Prime Minister Albanese and U.S. President Joe Biden in Hiroshima, we're better to sign a deal like this than the city that we uh, obliterated, incinerated, you know, 100,000 or whatever the exact number was, people um, in uh, dropping a bomb that didn't need to be dropped because the war was already over and there was no reason to drop it other than to just see how many people it incinerated and uh, to scare Russia. In Hiroshima last Saturday goes by an unwieldy title. Oh, you know when they use unwieldy titles is when they're trying to pull some shit off, when they're trying to lie to you, when the bullshit cannon is fully armed, they give you unwieldy titles. It's called the Australia United States Climate Critical Minerals and Clean Energy Transformation Compact. <laughs> oh. They honestly, they should have titled this thing. Please don't notice that we did this. We don't want you to see this. Please don't look right here. Don't look at this right here. That's basically what they titled it. The deal has been sold as a measure to accelerate the establishment of responsible, secure, and inclusive global clean energy economy. You know what's not clean? War. So getting minerals for U.S. military is not clean in any manner. In any manner. The compact affirms the position of climate and clean energy as a third pillar of the alliance alongside our defense and economic cooperation. It is, experts say, a big deal for the climate and for the Australian economy. It could see Australian mining, processing, and energy companies benefit from billions of dollars in subsidy under Biden's major climate policy, the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, so-called to make it more acceptable to Republicans and swing state Democrats. Um, this is amazing. 
amazing the amount of effort they went to to make people think that this is not just a deal with the U.S. military to mine Australia and an effort by the U.S. to use military money to do it because they know that the, the U.S. military has trillions of dollars and can do anything with it, so why not send them over there? They got the money. They're swimming in money. Uh, just, this is disgusting on so many levels. This is, and, and also, this, oh, this, 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 any effort to actually fight the climate crisis is just, it's swamped. It is just diluted by this bullshit, by naming things climatey, climatey, green, greeny, and then they, and it's military shit. The, ne the next invasion, the next bomb dropped on Syria or something is going to be called the green new bomb. I, I Honestly, it really is. The, the U.S. military is going to invade, I don't know, Venezuela or some shit or Iran, and they're going to do it, and they're going to say, this is the green new invasion uh, for a climate green explosion. These are greeny climate explosions that we are dropping. Fuck you. Jesus. And that Australians are putting up with this shit, too? I don't know. Ugh. I mean, they probably don't know either. Their, their mainstream media is as garbage as ours. 